Well, let's continue to look through the global headlines uh, with Eunice Kim, who joins us from the News Centre. Eunice, Europe is dreading more possible terror attacks on this Friday, and overnight special forces in Belgium have killed two suspects in one of several anti-terror raids conducted throughout the country. Yeah, that's right, Jinju. Authorities say they thwarted a major and imminent attack with the sweep that is suspected to be linked to Islamic ex extremists. Connie Lee has the details for us. Belgium's threat level today is at its second highest point, at level three. Complementary measures of protection and security will be taken for evident reasons that we are not going to communicate. This after authorities there staged a counter-terror raid in the eastern city of Vervey. Gunfire rang out between police and the suspects under the cover of night at a building on Thursday. Two suspects died in the shootout and one was injured and arrested, according to Belgian authorities. The investigation was able to establish that this group was about to commit terrorist attacks. The suspects immediately and for several minutes opened fire with military weaponry and handguns on special forces of the federal police before being neutralized. Officials say the group of suspected terrorists who are believed to have recently returned to Belgium from fighting in Syria were planning to launch attacks on a grand scale imminently. A Belgian counterterrorism official says anti terror raids are continuing in Brussels and surrounding areas now. The massive anti terror raid comes just a week after the terrorist attacks in Paris at the office of satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, which left 12 people dead, and at a kosher supermarket where four hostages were killed. Authorities, however, say that for now, they see no direct link between those attacks and the events that unfolded in Belgium. Connie Lee, Arirang News.